So every year with the new year comes New Year's resolutions. And I, just like everybody else, likes to come up with, I guess, some sort of a plan for the new year. No different this time. So I just took the time this morning, uh, jotted down a couple of things, did the same thing last year. And for the most part, I can say that I achieved most of them for the most part. But their goals, right? Something to strive for. So I jotted down a couple of things. And the first one is do God's work. You know, I've ran into this issue, you know, and, and when I say do God's work, when, when he speaks, I need to move. And whenever he lays something on my heart, I need to go. I've been called, urged for a long time to be doing something. And I've kind of just did the same old cliche thing and said, well, I'm going to pray about it and I'm going to, but there's been too many signs lately and I'm still trying to sit back and, you know, wait, I, I need to get more into the aspect of go and pray versus pray and then go. Cause sometimes, like I said, really need to pray as we move. That's uh first and foremost on my list. Next one is just stop. Um, stop letting my fear of, failure get in my way of trying to do new things and get in the way of doing what I know God's urging me to do. Another thing is to stop worrying so much about other people's feelings and, you know, am I going to make this person mad or, and I just need to do what God's laying on my heart. And if what God's laying on my heart is affecting someone else's feelings, then it's clearly something they need to take over with God. Listen, and guys, this this probably goes for all of us, but I wrote down, listen to my wife more. It's funny because we got this thing, you know, when, when she gets something right, you know, whether it's, you know, a location of something or how something should have been done, you know, she always, and what did I say? And I always tell her that she's right. She's right a lot. And I'm going to give her credit that for that. She's a very, very smart woman, but listen to my wife more. And closer, you know, God tends to uh, speak to her a little bit more. I won't say openly necessarily, but I feel like he speaks to her more because she actually takes the time to slow down and listen. And sometimes he lays stuff on her heart to tell me because I'm too caught up in a thought process to slow down. So slow down, listen closer and more to what my wife's trying to tell me. The next one kind of goes along the same lines of with my wife. I'm going to put more emphasis on her significance, more emphasis, emphasis on her significance. Uh, I know a lot of times it, it probably gets to her, you know, because she's actually doing what God's wanting her to do, you know, taking care of the home. And, you know, sometimes she might just, not feel as significant because she's not out doing and you know stuff like that but her significance in the role that we play together is huge a little example of that was not too long ago we got up one morning and we rarely ventured too far outside of you know what's close to home but she said i want to go to steel creek park and it was weird because that was probably within the first 10 minutes of her waking up and I was like, yeah, you know, we can go get out, hang out a little bit. Maybe we'll go to Bay's Mountain. She said, no, I want to go to Steel Creek. And I guess that was just what was laid on her heart. You know, God just put it there. Let's go to Steel Creek. And while I was there, I ran into a gentleman and we had a really good conversation about God and what God can do for us and a scripture that was laid on his heart. And we kind of pondered on that for a moment together. And it was just a real good fellowship time for that moment. It was a really good experience. But the significance was she was listening. And if it hadn't been for her, none of that would have happened. So her significance is huge. You know, the old saying, uh, behind every good man is a greater woman. I don't feel like I match up to that good man thing by far. I got a lot of things I need to work on. But as far as great woman, she is. And I'm very blessed to have and pray. 
and I pray throughout the day, you know, on my way to work, you know, I pray, I pray when I get up in the morning, I pray throughout the day, I, I just, I pray. But I really feel like I need to take the time to pray more and pray more fervently, you know, with a, with a more just straight on focus for things. And that is a goal of mine to actually have time set aside throughout the day to sit down with my wife, come up with things that we need to pray about uh, people we need to pray for and just pray fervently. Those are just a couple of my resolutions for 2018. Uh, I try not to come up with, you know, crazy stuff that's unachievable, little things to chip away at being a better person, uh, being more little things to, to make me more like Jesus, make my marriage better. Those are the things that we need to concentrate on. We, we always tend to make big things, you know, I'm going to do this in 2018 and, you know, in January, you're good at it, but after January, pff, kind of falls off. So, so for 2018, I hope everybody has a wonderful year and be blessed. See y'all.